make sure that you stay tuned until the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you where you can get a special bash script that will take all of the work out of putting your alpha adapters into monitor mode and will even do other things for you such as changing the TX power of the adapter, changing the MAC address of the adapter, and changing the channel of the adapter. Welcome to Fresh Forensics, your go-to destination for everything Linux. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and today we're diving deep into a crucial concept in wireless networking, RF Mon Mode, Radio Frequency Monitor Mode, also known by its short name, Monitor Mode. Now other than this adapter right here, one thing that all of these adapters that you see here on this table have in common is that you are capable of putting them into RF Mon Mode or Monitor Mode. So what is RF Mon Mode? RF Mon Mode is a special mode for wireless network cards often used in the world of cybersecurity and hacking. But what exactly is it? Well, RF Mon Mode allows your Wi-Fi card to listen to all the wireless signals in its range, whether those signals belong to your network or someone else's. In this mode, the card isn't just connected to a specific access point, like you'd normally do when you're browsing the internet. Instead, it passively listens for all data being transmitted on a given channel, regardless of the network or device. It's like a wireless sniffer that can capture all the packets in the air. So how does RF Mon Mode work? Now let's talk about how it works. Normally, a Wi-Fi adapter in your laptop or device connects to a specific network, whether it's your home network or a public Wi-Fi. But when you enable RF Mon Mode, the Wi-Fi card changes its behavior. With RF Mon Mode enabled, the card starts to capture all wireless traffic, including control packets, management packets, and data packets. This means you can see details about networks, access points, and even connected devices in your vicinity. For example, you can detect hidden networks, gather information about the type of encryption being used, or even analyze traffic patterns to spot potential security weaknesses. If you are interested in any of these adapters, I have included Amazon affiliate links in the description of the videos. If you use the Amazon affiliate link to make the purchase, not only are you getting the adapter that you want anyway, but it is a great way of supporting my channel as a small portion of the proceeds come back to me. Okay, so I'm over here at the GitHub page for an individual whose name I'm going to pronounce as More Owner. I've done some previous videos using drivers from this same owner's repositories in order to get specific alpha adapters up and running on Linux. What I'm showing you in this video is a bash script that was written by this gentleman that is called monitor mode. We're going to come up here to code and open up the drop down and I'm going to copy the URL to the clipboard. I'm going to go to the command line And I have created a directory called alpha to store all the various things that I am doing with these alpha adapters. And I'm simply going to do a git clone on that URL. Once the git clone is finished, we can cd into the newly created directory called monitor mode. And there's only a few files inside of this directory. There's a, a readme file that you can open up and it's pretty much going to be the same thing that you saw on the github page. The main thing that we're interested in is going to be this bash script called startmon.sh. It's a decent sized bash script. It is very well written. So if I do a word count with a dash L on this bash script, we will see that it is 351 lines long. So this is a very, very nice, long, well written, extremely well written bash script. And this will do many things, not just put your adapter into monitor mode, but it will also do things like change the MAC address for you, change the TX power of your adapter, and when you're done running the script, it will even revert back to the original settings before the script started. 
As you can see, the script is already showing itself in green, so it already has the execute permission bit enabled. Uh, so we don't need to do anything further than run the script. Now you do need to give it the name of your interface and you do have to run this script with pseudo privileges. So for this demonstration of using this script, I'm going to be doing this on my Alpha AW US 1900 adapter. Links will be in the description. It's a very good, powerful adapter. As you can see, it has four adjustable high gain antennas on it. I've also done videos on installing the drivers to get this particular adapter up and running on Linux. So with the adapter plugged in, I'm going to run IW config. And you can see that the name of the interface is right here. It is called AWUS1900. If you're curious as to how I was able to give this adapter this name of AWUS1900, I have done a video on this as well. Go back and take a look at that video. In that video, I show you how to do this. So with the name of the interface, I'm going to type the command sudo, followed by a dot forward slash and the name of the script, which is start-mon.sh. And finally, the name of the interface, which is AWUS1900. First thing we see is that we have numerous processes that are running and the script is stopping all those processes for us. Yet another series of commands that you do not have to run because this script does that for you. So I'll press enter to continue. It asks us if we want to set a new MAC address. I'm going to do no. And also if I want to set a new channel, I am also going to do no. And it asks us if we want to set the TX power. I'm going to keep it at 20 dBm as going any higher than that is going to be unfortunately illegal in the United States. So I'll do an N for no. And now we are told that the adapter is ready for monitor mode. So just to verify that the adapter is in monitor mode, I'm going to open up another window pane. And if I run iwconfig, you can see in the output that the adapter is now in monitor mode. And obviously from this point, you can do things such as performing a network scan, scanning for the wireless networks around you, etc., and so forth. That's outside of the scope for this video. But once you are done using the adapter and you no longer need it to be in monitor mode and you want to revert back to your original settings if we come back over to the original uh, window pane that i left that script running in i'll press enter and now it asks me if i want to return the adapter to the original settings so i'll do y for yes and the script exits and all the settings have been reverted if i come back over here to the other window and do iwconfig. Again, we see that the adapter has been put back into managed mode. And also when you proceed through the series of commands necessary to do all of this, another thing that happens is that processes such as network manager are killed. But this reverts everything back to its original settings. So if I do a sudo service network manager status, we see that network manager is back to being active and running. So to recap, RF Mon Mode is a powerful tool for passive wireless monitoring. Great for penetration testing, network analysis, and detecting wireless threats. Whether you're a cybersecurity pro or just getting into the world of Wi-Fi hacking, Understanding how to leverage RF Mon Mode is an essential skill. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Linux, cybersecurity, and hacking content. And as always, keep learning and stay fresh. I'll catch you in the next video.